Hey YouTubers, Muskrat Jim here. Recently a company from China named LightTake.com contacted me and asked if I'd like to review some of their products. So I took a look at their website and these are the products that I chose to review. Some were good, some were not so good, and some were not quite what I had expected. So stay tuned and we'll do a review on each of the products. Okay, so this product, everybody's seen them. They're survival bracelet with a built-in whistle, compass, and uh, ferro rod and striker. Now this bracelet is like, I don't know, $3, which includes shipping. And the colors come in black, uh, tan, orange and black, and army green and camo green. Now it only comes in one size, and that's about seven, actually I, I didn't measure it. So let's put it through its paces. Now this bracelet only comes in one size, and let's just measure it see what it is. From tip to tip, it's 10 inches, or 25 centimeters. But I think it would fit a wrist that's probably closer to 8 inches, or 20 centimeters. Now, the thing about this is that the fair rod is so small, I personally have difficulty striking it. Um, the other thing I want to mention get this right in frame here as you can see with the strike as you can see with the striker it's serrated so it's really really quite sharp and it can be used to cut other things it's like a steak knife and because of the serrations if you take a look at the ferro rod you can see that it sort of gouges it out and I don't know if you can see it or not but in a couple of occasions when I struck it earlier, it actually uh, scratched the, the plastic housing here a bit. Now, I haven't been able to get any sparks off of it. That's, that's the thing. But we're going to see if we can do something here. I'm just going to move the camera. to a better vantage point. Yeah, something like that. One spark there. I don't know if you caught that, or if you saw that or not. But one spark. Got one spark there. I don't know if you saw that or not, but we'll try it again. There we go. So that ferro rod and striker definitely works, even though the item is quite small. Now one thing I did notice about the compass, although it's fairly accurate in pointing in the right direction, it suffers a lot from interference. So if I were to bring my other compass closer to it, you'll see that that needle on the small one changes direction. You might say it's because, well, they're both magnets, and one magnet is bigger than the other, and therefore it's affecting the smaller one. But the same thing happens if I bring my knife towards it. Now, if you carefully watch the needle, see it's being interfered with by my knife. And obviously the closer I get to it with my knife, the more it deflects. Now my compass, on the other hand, isn't really affected 
by my knife. Oh yes it is, look at that. Crap. Another thing I did notice about this compass was that it's very slow to move around. Like it's oil filled, it's not air filled, it's oil filled, so that that's good. But because the magnet is so small in there, it takes a long time for it to actually settle down. And so, you know, you can't just tell at a glance what direction you're going into. You'd have to stop, make sure that it's perfectly level, and then wait for it to settle down. Now, personally, I prefer a larger compass, something that's easier to read and something you can take a bearing with. Now I'm going to test the whistle. Now, one final test is that it says it's made from seven strand paracord. So, we're going to unravel a piece of it just to see. The website also says that the um, each strand of the seven breaks down into three separate smaller strands. So you'd have like 21 threads altogether. Well, 21 threads plus the outer casing. Let me just get it. Just get a pair of scissors under that. Cut that to free those strands. And we'll take a look. So there, as you can see, there's several strands in there. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven. Okay, so there are seven individual strands in there, and each strand is made up of fine little threads. But they are twisted. if you can see that, but the strands themselves are twisted and made from dozens of fine threads. Now I don't know if it's military grade uh, 550 paracord, but um, you know it would give you a bunch of cordage. How much? I'm not sure. I haven't unraveled it, but it'd be several meters or several yards anyway. So, would I recommend this bracelet? Well, to be quite honest, I thought for sure that I was going to be giving this a failing grade because of the size of the ferro rod and the fact that I couldn't get any sparks off of it. But, as you saw, I was able to spark that piece of uh, cotton without too much difficulty. Now, the whistle seems to be, you know, good and loud, and there's probably several meters of cordage there, several yards of cordage that can be broken down. So those are definitely pluses. But I'm really not fond of the tiny compass. It's too easily deflected. And if you're out in the woods and you have a tendency to tell direction by the sun or the prevailing winds or by ambient noises, like you know there's an airport in that direction and that sort of thing, and looking down at this compass when it's telling you that it's in a different direction will just confuse you. And the last thing you need out there is confusion. So would I recommend this? Well, you know, for three bucks it gives you, you know, a fair amount of cordage, a whistle, 
that's good and loud, and the ability to light a fire. Now, I don't know if I just said this or not, but I wasn't expecting to be able to strike a fire with this because the ferro rod was so small. But as you saw with that cotton ball, it only took a few strikes. So, my recommendations, don't trust this compass. But for the rest of it, you know, three bucks, you really can't go wrong with that. The lighttake.com website has thousands of products, from consumer electronics to home and garden and beauty supplies and camping and fishing accessories. They often have 15% off items and they have a 100% satisfaction guarantee and they ship to over 200 countries worldwide. Oh, and they also do bulk orders, you know, like for uh, businesses buying wholesale. So if you're looking for inexpensive items, check them out. They might have what you're looking for. For more muskrat survival videos, be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe.